Hey, in this video, I want to show how Giraffe is an amazing complement to heavy duty GIS like, Q, like QGIS. So let's say you've been working away in GIS doing hardcore spatial joins, field calculations, routing algorithms, data processing, whatever it's for, on however you're doing it, and at whatever scale. Once you've done it, one of the big challenges is how do you get this out to your users, whether that's internal users, like say you're the GIS person at an architecture firm, how do you publish this stuff out? Do you print it? Do you save it as a CAD file? But it could also be to external clients and users. Um, and there's a bunch of solutions. You get into Mapbox, you can do certain things, but Giraffe, I think, is uniquely powerful to do this uh, in a couple of ways, and I want to show you, show you those. So I've saved this... Um, shapefile here uh, as subset two on my desktop and I'm gonna add it to giraffe. So I'm gonna create my own geojson, browse to my desktop, grab it and bring it in. And there it comes, the data's in, super, super simple. Now, you'll notice that it's completely unstyled and that's because giraffe allows you to style this, this GIS data in a data-driven way, so we can actually use the data it's, you know, as, as a styling, uh, to drive the styling. So I've got an FSR key, so I'm going to style by FSR. Open this up, send that to one, and let's make that like a, a peach. There we go. So now I've got uh, peach and blue for FSR one and two. That came with my data. See, that's FSR two, and that's FSR one. And this is now the default style for this, uh, for this data layer. But the data is not destroyed, right? So my new peach and blue layer. The data still resides in this, in this layer. It's not gone. So it's peach and blue to us because we styled by FSR and chose peach and blue. And that's going to be the default thing when we share it. And because we're in a project, giraffe project, we can immediately share with individual users, internal, external, with view, edit, or admin, as well as teams or workspaces. So really easy to collaborate. But what's awesome, and that's done, you're done. Click, click publish, and that is a very, very quick and nice way for someone to receive information. I imagine this was a heat map or demographic analysis, pedestrian, you know, ped shed, whatever it is. How awesome is this? And your users have, they can measure, they can draw, they can sketch, they can turn on other layers underneath. They get this thing in a really nice and clean GIS viewer. But what's even cooler is all the data work that you've done is accessible to them. So they can open that lens control and they can say, we don't like peach and blue, we like peach and green. And they can change that to that delightful mix there. They may not want to style by FSR, they may want to style by building height. So if we made that 50 and that 4, 1, set that to red, that to green, and we get a completely different style of a different data, we can add filters, we can do all sorts of things in terms of, let's get the FSR uh, is greater than one. We're only returning the, um, those sites with an FSR of greater than one, and then you can see the ones which have the, the height, you know, colored by height. So you can look at the, if you're looking at a multi-dimensional, you know, looking at this data in a multi-dimensional way. And each user may want to look at the data in a different way, and they're able to, and if they get sick of it, and they want to return to the original styling, you know, once they unapply all lenses, it's back to it's back to what it was, what it was meant to be. That's extremely powerful and that's extremely quick. The next thing that is really cool about Giraffe is just how quickly you can take this data and you can augment it. So you can drop a markers. That are incredibly rich uh, and editable in terms of you know all of their all of their uh, their parameters look at them stick height padding shadows all of these things incredibly rich I'll just make this text white for now and save um, but you can also use 3d in a really beautiful way um, so if I wanted to draw uh, an avenue with the cycle path to highlight that within the context of this data analysis, this is going to be the main street. I could do that. 
move the center of town over here and create a forest over here. What I've done is created, I think, it's like a interactive, very pretty map that is carrying with it from QGIS all the, all the work you've done. It's like none of the work that you've done on the data side is lost, um, but it's on the web, it's very accessible, it's very engaging, and it's analytical. You can open it, you know, we can style and filter and look at these things whilst engaging the audience in a way that is, you know, really nice. So hopefully that uh, convinces you to at least try Giraffe if you have this need for taking data that you're doing like from the internal GIS data analysis and use it to drive engagement with clients or stakeholders.